play. You're going to be able to play this game. It is awesome. I'm telling you, like, when you pick up the... You I just know, wanted to win the, the controller, the, uh, you pick up the keyboard or mouse, or, of course, you can't really... The early access for the Battlefield Insiders, like, when we get the beta. You know I'm saying. Anyway, when you do that... Are we Battlefield right Insiders? It, it just, uh, we should be. Certainly there. Um, the weapon My inside too, of Battlefield? It's, it's, it's really I don't know, diverse, are you? Which is super Dude, he is flat-out smoking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> definitely say it feels different to play with those weapons like you've got the smgs you've got the semi-assault uh, semi-automatic rifles you've got the lmgs you've got sniper rifles so there's lots of different types of weapons available in there they're very distinct so each class definitely has its own role all right can the united kingdom come yeah, I think out I think on top five here seaters is and the five and six gunners we're going to go into our final <laughs> game six seaters, six guns. Yeah, it's ridiculous. the show or four battlefield squads yeah, in the first world war uh britain a lot of cool stuff coming and the united states well. had better tanks uh, have, than germany uh, post, post -show and then in the second so world war it was the other way around that's when they got the panzer tanks on this wrecking shit a lot of fun surprises there so make sure you guys the panzer and the tiger too are just like obnoxiously good the like zero panzer was ridiculous game here Wesley can the United Kingdom squad we'll back. come out on top I'm, I, I think it might be a clean sweep for the Germans uh, and you know it's just because they've got the advantage in their heads they're thinking yeah we're already 2-0 up I think we can win this one but you know you know the plucky Brit may come around and they might win around you never know keep in mind team Stone Mountain versus team Neves yeah team Stone Mountain looking fantastic Neves just needs to you know they need to pull it out of the bag they need to get that win on the scoreboard. Dare I say, he's got to pull a stone mountain, get the troops in line. Yep. Get everyone ready. You know, believe in. You know, advance to the objective. PTO, push the objective. <laughs> get the points on the board. Now it's time. I just heard Play the objective, you moron. Was that in the game, or was that here? No, I'm almost certain that was someone in the <laughs> push crowd. Push the objective. Because I mean, it Bongo depends on the circumstance, because I've heard uh, protect the objective as well. Yell, you know, just. PTO or PTFOs, play the fucking objective or play the objective. Uh, here we go, folks. I've it's never ever heard anybody say push the objective. Now. So just look at the yeah, Mac. You gotta push the objective. Fuck you, I didn't even say push the objective. I said protect the objective. It's a role where, like, if you get the kill, you feel like you really deserve it. And now when you look at those weapons, you think, wow, that's absolutely... It's like a big armadillo. playing the objective is neutral, right? Because if you have to push it, playing it means push. If you have to protect it, and it, playing it means defend it. It's sent, you know, obviously just shake the ground underneath. Oh, yeah! Got it, it's fine. Oh, Jesse. It's awesome. It's fucking like there was, like, a bar. That was really cool yeah. to see that. that was so yeah, there's um, but there's a special button. That is that they said that the you press. Charge is like I'm assuming it's like melee to do this bayonet charge. Rage, like you, yeah, I understand why there's like a and, distance uh, you can charge. Oh. So you're for being cocky, bro. You can see, you can I feel like you should have kept running. He might have been able to like stab him through the window. He got hatcheted. Was that what that was? Yeah. He got axed. You could get taken out. I mean, he ran. He ran into the window. I must ask the guy gets away. And well, then obviously you need to pay the price. Yeah. No matter like what. Man, that bayonet charge is sick. Like if you hit a wall, right? Essentially, is what I'm trying to get. If you hit a wall, you're you're stopped. Right in your tracks. There's nothing you can do. Um, you slow down. You can't sprint again. You can't do anything. Um, I, I believe you could still uh, shoot your gun, though. I, I think you can still do that. You can still uh, make sure that happens to defend yourself. But any kind of mobility, though, becomes you know severely limited, which yep. of course is an issue if you're in the thick of things. If you're right in the yep. heart of the battlefield and you go in for the charge, you. you Pay the price if you don't get that one. And obviously, if you're going for the bayonet charge, you're focusing on that. I love how those little signs underneath the monitors say no photography and no videography. The situation, but and they're playing this for hundreds for of player, thousands so of people. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just forget those things. Yeah, very true. Uh, you know, we, we covered a lot of uh, elements in the game here. Um, and, and I know that, you know, the community, I'm sure, has a lot of questions about what you can and cannot do. Uh, I believe some uh, weapons also have uh, different firing options as well. I, I, I believe so. I think yeah, there's one. like a couple that I played. It was one that could do single shot and one that could do um, automatic fire. So yep. uh, there, some of the weapons, you know, mechanics that you guys are familiar with in, in, in other Battlefield games, you know, are certainly there for you to be able to switch out the weaponry and uh, or switch out the style of play, right? Whether you yep. want to go for a more steady shot or, uh, you know, Maybe you want a little bit more ammunition, things like that. So, get in the frame. Yep, get in there. These are some great Ooh. cinematic shots.
they are really good. They show off the environment really well. And obviously, you can see this bit here looking like pristine countryside. I mean, yeah, we've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, destruction down here at the bottom. A little bottom. bit. That's quite a bit of destruction <laughs> there. But you know, I mean, like it was pristine when we started, and I, you can bet Rick. your life that it's been completely leveled by the end of the round. Zach so. Efron. <laughs> oh, boy, Dude, I boy. really it's like the ragdoll animation. Yeah. Here. We're in the, this is they one look of the so good. ruined villages. This is part of the map already ruined as it goes along. And as you go to the other side, you've got the pristine oh. countryside. So there's a nice variation on the same map, but you can always you make the pristine countryside completely flat if you want to. Yeah, it's just good visual, visualization, right? You know, you know that I'm in this particular portion of the map because it, it looks. You know, I love those grenade clusters. By, I think it's cool. You know, the, the unfortunate. Here's the uh, the destruction we're talking about. People using this uh, crater here as a little bit of cover. You see, they drop. Right down, and you can uh, you can take cover here behind the wall, and then pop <laughs> up. Rag you want to, but those mm -hmm. those explosions allow you to change the environment a little bit more. And, uh, right from above here, uh, also a looks couple like of a shotgun. Um, there are certain that looks like a shotgun. Uh, it's got 21 rounds. Yep. And, uh, oh yeah, you're right. It'll create a crater underneath as well. Yeah, I want to so see a shotgun too. Who may be concerned about like you know the. the Maybe a building completely flatlined and there's no cover. There's opportunity for that because of the ground deformation. Well. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like if you think about it this way the floorboards sort of crumble in on themselves and there's a bit of space underneath them. So if you crouch down, then there's that still that tiny bit of wall that's been left behind and you're still able to take a bit of cover there. So you might be out in the middle of nowhere with the people firing down on you, but you've got the opportunity to take some cover and maybe give yourself well, that a dude's little bit of a fighting <laughs> chance. Oh, he just jumped out of that airplane. He bailed. So he bailed. fast. He was not having any of that. But here we go now. There's a uh, Team Stone Mountain trying to push forward. Do I love those grenades? A tank here. Oh, oh and my get God! A huge <laughs> hit on that tank, and the tank Jeez, goes down. Dude. Big plays there for Stone Mountain the and his crew. The no chance. Decimating that war Everyone's machine. just like work there gang bang that, that well, tank. <laughs> you saw the power of the anti-tank <laughs> grenade there. I mean, it looks like a small object in your hand, but it, it sure got a big explosion uh, when it goes off. And multiple ones of those are easily going to be able to take down one of those land ships. Oh yeah, they're, they're just they're just deadly. But you know, I think a, a lot of people always ask the questions. Well, you know, how do I defend myself against tanks? So there, you saw it right there. Work Definitely. with your team, which is what Battlefield's all about, and you will be able to over overcome those odds even if you're just uh, you know just a, just a small infantryman yeah I mean there was a great shot there that we just uh, that we just went past that showed like uh, the mudlands in between this amazing sort of countryside and we've got what's already been destroyed so it was a really nice we shot that one objective just you can look at so many portions of the map and just yeah. be blown away each and every time. And a uh, friendly oh, airship man. has been deployed for the German Empire. Oh. So the United Kingdom coming back here, Wes. You said it was going to be a sweep, man. I always believe. Uh, I didn't believe. <laughs> you did not believe. <laughs> well, maybe they're being plucky. Maybe they're going to come back for the win. You know, we can't let the uh, the Germans get all three games. So maybe they've got the uh, maybe they got the knowledge. Maybe they got the power to uh, to finish the job. Oh, nice play there, picks up oh. one, but couldn't find the second pickup. That's unfortunate as we go into free cam mode to see the lay of the land. And there is a dogfight happening over by the fields there, uh, over here. We're going to see what the current objective is for this squad. Seems like they don't have much the of an objective horn? here at this time. That's, that's so sounds like <laughs> squad leaders need Maps to direct the, the, the flow of combat. Well, that's the uh, that's part of what you were saying. I mean, the team play is really important. We saw that tank getting taken down. We're seeing the, the capturing of a flag right here. They've just taken back the townhouse. You know, that's turning the tide a little bit back towards the German Empire, who now have control of more of those conquest flags. Yeah, and with the airship coming in in favor of the German Empire, could they turn it around? They could certainly turn it around here, Westy. I would be uh, very surprised if the UK squad will be able to stop this. If this airship is properly utilized, because, and just look at the shots raining yeah. down, those are just hefty rounds there that are just causing destruction on anyone in oh, the oh, melee kill app just there. One thing that we have to think about with the airship is that if you've got a lot of planes in the sky, you could all work together, take that thing down as quick as possible, and stop an assault from the enemy. Because obviously they're coming from behind. And now, if you look at it, I believe the German Empire are now in the lead. And there you can see a shot of the gondolas that house those heavy machine guns. We saw just how hefty those rounds looked. Uh, certainly is something to keep in mind is you want to focus fire on that so yep. that you can prevent anyone from you know, 
causing too much of a problem here. And uh, there is that uh, anti tank oh, grenade. Here we go. Here we go. Can he get a shot on him? Oh, it's really That's cool. going to be a big one. Does yeah. he get the hit? No. Oh, the tank short. pulled away. The tank pulled. Oh, although, hang on a minute. That's absolutely incredible. I think he might have run out of anti tank grenades, though, which is why he's running away. That's unfortunate. And yeah, Vardok is going to get oh. that pick. And there goes the tank. <laughs> that was a, a nice take now. Oh, we got some sniping action here. Can he take him? Can he take him? You also you want to you want to take into account the bullet drop that happens over this. Oh 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 goodness gracious! That was great shots there, or great angles with our camera camera shots, whatever you want to call him. That just looked cool. <laughs> that did look really cool. He's definitely got somebody on his tail though. You can see the uh, the bullets going past. Back with the sniping. Okay. Oh. For, he's trying to lead the shot a little bit, which is actually the smart thing to do. You you might get the kill, but oh, he missed out on the uh, on the on the drop down there. And and the thing sniping yeah, in this game sniping. is you know it's a challenge. It it is you know it's gonna take a lot of getting used to here. But here you see he he knows that this spot is currently being taken over, and I don't know if that's his teammates. I think we might no. need to. Well, it has got to try and find where the enemy player is. I mean, you can see on the mini-map, you might just be able to see that. And, ah, it's a tank. It's a tank. <laughs> he, he might have a bit of trouble taking that down with a sniper rifle. <laughs> I think he realized that, too. He was like, you know, I'm just going to go back and continue uh, sniping. I'm not going to worry about the tank. You guys deal with that. I got no time for this. All right. Oh, there you go. That's the, uh, the ground underneath the building there. So you can still use it as a little bit of cover. It's not fully destroyed yet, but there is a chance that, that could happen during yeah. the game. And so. especially how Doom was entering that doorway there, you know, had it not been as frantic, potentially the person that he had eliminated uh, would have been able to use the coverage and, and get a better yeah, angle on out. him and, and pick him off. So, uh, uh, Ponies being left hanging. We got hanging. some high yeah, fives. Yeah, we got the high five. We got the high fives, As man. long as it happens, you know. Yeah, I know, because then it's that, it's that <laughs> moment that's, that's <laughs> gift. And it lives forever, <laughs> and he'll never be able to live it down. So uh, we have, we averted a crisis there, folks. Back High on with the given. with the sniper. It seems like the team actually no, oh, yeah, yeah, the so team bad. took back I win, know. So <laughs> carry on sniping to his heart's content. Oh my god! I don't think he's hitting anyone. A living no. soul. No, nonetheless, it's unfortunate. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, at first if you don't <laughs> succeed, try again. Unless you're that guy, shit just talk give to it so hard too. You know, just for the time being. Move closer, maybe. You know, like what you might notice is obviously all these. All these conquest flags are relatively, they're all sort of spaced out perfectly. And, uh, oh, yes, actually, let's talk about that. Yeah, so we were uh, brought up before on this, and, and I did want to talk about a different kind of weather conditions. We saw rain, we saw sun. Now we're starting to see the fog set in, and the fog can be quite brutal. Wes, you have experiences with that too, right? Yeah, I definitely have. And I mean, obviously, we were looking at a map that was. Damn giving all different types of gameplay. So you had the close quarters, you had medium range and long range for sniping. Now, Edward. if you're a sniper at the top of that windmill over there, there's not a chance in hell that you're going to be able to see what's going on down in the town. So you're going to have to come out, potentially use your pistol, or maybe even swap to another class when you respawn to try and win the battle. Yeah, because, well, the weather's the not going to let you snipe anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. And keep in mind, too, you know, that this is going to affect the airship. It's going to also affect any planes that are in the air. They, they won't be able to tell where the infantry are moving. They are covered, essentially, by Mother Nature herself. Uh, so we, now we haven't got left long left. We've only got a couple. Uh -oh. Of, oh, there goes the coming down this time. There goes the airship. It's going to fall down. down, and this is not looking good. Where it's going to land is the question, and how it's going to affect it's the a battlefield. It's a rigid airship. Uh, is also something of note here. But overall, though, you know that stop there with the uh, from the German Empire's airship that was huge because it could have gone out of control. The United Kingdom may have not been able to hold these points. We've got a minute and a half left of the game, and there's only about 15 points in it. So the Germans managed to pull themselves in front, but there's still a chance that the British could bring this round in the last minute of the game, especially with the air. Oh! Ouch. <laughs> that, shark. that was brutal. <laughs> shark is brutal, man. He is not, he's not anyone's friend. Well, if you look at it now, the uh, the British are in the lead, 145 to 128. They've turned it round. Indeed they have, but they are going to be losing point A, and it seems like they might. D is being contested here. White boy can't stand a chance against Doom as he comes around the corner. Yeah, and it looks as he has. Here we go. Maybe the blue team can get this point here. This is going to be point D that was currently being contested, and they're fighting over Townhouse at this moment. A lot of bodies on this we point, on this flag. Damage. They should be able to get control of it. Well, let's hope so, because if the British can do manage to pull off a win, it, it ends up 2 1. But, you know, you couldn't let them go with a 3 0 landslide. You just can't let the sweep happen, man. <laughs> you know, I mean. Ready. 
it's, it, it, you want to go out with some dignity. Definitely. You could win the third round, you know, that's consolation. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps the tactics weren't there in the first two rounds. Maybe we call them warm up yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. That la those last two rounds didn't count. This one is the one that matters because we won. Uh, with only 14 seconds left. Uh, oh, Ooh, what, what a shot. Neves that going down there. <laughs> He's so happy. That was Stone Mountain to Neves, if I'm correct. Was it? I believe that was oh. Stone Mountain to Neves. That what? is awesome. Well, maybe it's like, we'll, we'll let you win this one. But uh, do you know what? I'm going to take you out anyway. <laughs> and there we go. Well, there you have it, folks. Congratulations to all the competitors. Big thank you to everyone who watched here in the arena here at EA Play. And also for those of you guys watching online.